Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com with HD video at youtube.com slash the revived one. Say I have a folder with passwords here. If I would wanted to get rid of it, most of the time, or most of you out there, would just drag it into your trash and delete it. But is that really deleting it? Is your information really safe when you empty your trash can? The answer, unfortunately, is no. Now let me break this down into something simpler or something you can relate to. Let's say you had an address book, and inside of that address book you had different entries for the people you knew. Now, once you removed somebody from your address book, they still existed, or their house still existed, or their phone number still exists. You just don't have an entry in your address book telling you how to get to with that information. The same thing relates to a computer. If I just delete this folder here, the pointer to the actual location on my hard drive will be gone, but somebody who was smart enough and had the correct tools could go in without having this pointer here and actually find the information on the hard drive and get at that those passwords that I wanted to delete. So you can't just delete it. You have to do one of two things. Well, basically, you have to do one thing. You have to overwrite the data. Now, on Mac OS X, I'm going to show you how. It's really pretty simple. So we'll just drag passwords into our trash. And then we'll go to the trash can. Instead of pressing delete, what you need to do is go to finder and go to secure empty trash. Now what secure empty trash will do is it'll delete the pointer, but it'll also go to the location on the hard drive and actually overwrite that data with random ones and zeros to protect your information. So we'll press secure empty trash. Now it does take a lot longer because it, instead of just deleting the pointer, it has to go in and overwrite the data. So it'll take a lot more system resources to actually delete this. And that really comes into play when you're deleting a lot. But let's say you forgot to do that for some files and you want to make sure that that information is secure. Or maybe you're just super paranoid and you want to overwrite that information again. Just open up Disk Utility and go to your hard drive. From there, you want to go to Erase. And you want to erase the free space. Now what this will do is we'll f go to all the free space that you have, and for each zero and one that's on your hard drive, it'll rewrite it with a zero. So you have different options. You can zero out the deleted files, and that's the quick security and is, a, and is quick. It writes zeros over the unused space in your disk once. You have a seven pass erase of data, provides better security, but it takes seven times longer than zero out. It could because it rewrites all the unused space seven times. And 32 pass is essentially the same thing. It'll go over all your unused space on your volume 35 times, rewriting it with random zeros. Now, basically, this is the most secure you're going to get, 35 pass, but this is going to take a really long time. So if you were going to be gone for a weekend and you had some really sensitive stuff on your computer, maybe you'd do 32 pass and just let it grind for a few days. But really, for me, if it's something really important, I just go into the trash and secure empty the trash. And every now and then, if I have some time, maybe overnight or whatever, I'll let it zero out the deleted files, just, just to be a little bit extra secure. But that's up to you, and depending on the level of security you need to have with your data. For me, I mean, it's nothing really important. Uh, that would, you know, maybe be my taxes or something like that, that you would definitely want to keep secure. But if you do have some really secure stuff on your computer, you really want to make sure you secure empty trash, and every now and then, just for a little extra layer of security, zero out the deleted files again, just to make sure everything's really demolished. So I hope you now really understand how to securely delete files on your Mac. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.